So this is my entry into Miranda's challenge. Miranda's having a thing for bling challenge. Um, she is Miss Liberty 25 on YouTube. The prize is a $25 gift certificate to Cynthia's store, which is called A Thing for Bling. The challenge was to alter something or to create a project that's altered with lace and trims. And I chose to alter a birdhouse that I've had for many, many years. It actually fell off a shelf quite a few years ago, so it was put in a cupboard and it was a bit broken. And so I've had to fix it up as best possible. Um, it used to be a very dark green and with a rusty roof. So this is what I've done to it. It's raining today, so it's very dark. So I'm hoping this comes up all right. Okay, I've just got it sat on a little vase at the moment because I don't have a nice taller candlestick to put it on. Mm. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. So it's standing on a little vase. It has a doily skirt under here that will hang down over the top of the candlestick when I get it. It has a group of ribbons. I'm not sure if they're classified as trims, but it has a um, group of ribbons dangling down as well. We have two different laces here. This one's a coffee dyed and this one's uh, actually Dee from DK Crafts sent me that beautiful lace there so I've used that. I have a combination of velvet flowers and I am roses and rosebuds here with some greenery that I got from the dollar shop. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. There's the, this is actually uh, glass, this little handle. If I just turn it, you'll be able to see that. So I've got it balancing, so I've got to be careful. And there's the bird hole. It actually is a hole, so going up. And we have a little charm there that Kerry sent me with two little doves on it. Um, we have some trim from the paper I used, which is the Prima Printery range. A little bit of lace underneath that, and we have our little steeple on top, which was actually broken in half. Part of it was missing, so I've had to use some plaster to rebuild the whole tip of that and then paint it up to coordinate with that. Um, I don't know what you'd call that, but that part there. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> okay, now we'll turn to the side. Being careful. Alright. Whoops, here we go. Okay. So, this is a it's like an embroidered trim and I only had two little tiny pieces of it and neither piece would fit around the whole birdhouse so I've just cut them individually and decided to alternate the colours along there. I've also used some pearl trim along the edge of it there. Um, in the top of the birdhouse we have the same double, double lace around the edge with more pearl trim here. I've used the Prima Printery paper on here and I've just cut around the flowers. Um, but I've left part of the rusty roof showing because I just thought that was, it was a nice little feature. Show its roots so to speak. I have some more lace around the back of the birdhouse. I have another piece of lace here that I've gathered up almost like a flower under the bunch of flowers, more velvet flowers, more I am roses and greenery there. And then turning to the back we have more of our laces and trims and I've just cut out some of the flowers from the paper and arranged them so they go down the back of the birdhouse which I quite like. It looked a bit plain without that. And this side is pretty much, I don't want it to fall, um, I must get a candlestick for it. Just trying to find my centre. Okay, let's hope that holds. Um, this side is pretty much, oh I have a couple of pearls in with the 
um, flowers there also. So that side's the same as the other side as well. Okay. And that is my project for the challenge. I hope you like it. I do. I hope I've used enough lace. These ladies use a lot of lace and I'm just, um, I'm not used to using that much lace, but I'm getting there. Stay. <laughs> and they're also very talented which is a bit intimidating. I feel a little bit out of my league entering a challenge over there, but it's all for fun, so there we go. Okay, have a lovely day, ladies. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.